Hey, what's good guys? It's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the Razer Blade Stealth. So this is my second Razer product that I've gotten the chance to try out. The first one being the Razer phone, which I really like. So I was really excited to get my hands on this one and try it out and share my experience with you guys. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the Razer Blade Stealth. Starting off with the hardware and design, what you're looking at here is an incredibly compact, light and thin Ultrabook that has been stuffed to the brims with features and raw power. Now, in terms of design, it really does live up to its name, Stealth. You can get it in this black and green backlit logo colorway, or you can go for a more toned down gunmetal option. It weighs in at just under 3 pounds, so it's great for travel and on the go purposes, and it has a unibody aluminum build, so it's nice and lightweight but the build quality is absolutely top notch. In terms of I.O., it's got two full USB ports, one on either side. It's got an HDMI port on the right hand side, and on the left you'll find a 3.5mm audio port and the Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port used for charging. And speaking of charging, the included power cord is quite nice, it's braided, it's high quality, just thought I'd point that out. And you can also use Razer's power bank for additional juice if you'd like. Now in terms of specs, they're listed there on the screen and you can see, like I said before, this thing has been stuffed to the brims. You're getting nothing short of pure greatness in terms of hardware. So when I first opened up the laptop, I was pleasantly greeted by two things. The first one being this absolutely gorgeous 13.3 inch QHD Plus display. It is a touchscreen. It works okay. The viewing angles here are very good. The display gets pretty bright at 406 nits and it is incredibly color accurate, which is important to note for you video and photo editors out there. The colors are nice and punchy, but because of that glossy display, you will be dealing with reflections in bright areas, but it's not a problem for me though. Now the second thing was obviously this very attractive Razer Chroma Keyboard. It sports 16.8 million colors, each key is individually backlit, and the lighting effects are fully customizable. This thing is pure eye candy and I love it. As for how the keyboard feels, it's nice and I definitely enjoy it. The key travel is fairly shallow, I do like the response, it's nothing to write home about, but it's solid. On either side of the keyboard you will find a speaker grill, and I will say I was not expecting these to sound as good as they do. Now they didn't blow me away, but I was quite impressed with the clarity and the amount of bass that these are able to push out. Quickly touching on the trackpad, no pun intended, I don't have too much to say about this because it just works. It's smooth, it's got a solid click response, and multi-touch works just fine. Now of course, this laptop was made to get things done, whether you're working hard or playing hard, and thanks to the top of the line hardware and very solid specs, things like graphic design, music production, and light video editing, things like that can be done very comfortably on this laptop. On the gaming side of things, results are pretty much what you would expect out of an Ultrabook from Razer. You can take your favorite games wherever you go, games like Rocket League, Overwatch, Project Cars 2, and more, which by the way have been optimized for this laptop's graphics card. And since we're on the topic of gaming, this is where Razer Cortex comes into play. So basically what Razer Cortex does is it provides enhanced gaming performance with Cortex Boost. What this does is it puts a hold on all of those processes that aren't necessary while you're gaming, so it unleashes CPU power and memory so that everything can focus on the game you're playing giving you the best performance possible. Now, if you want even more of a performance boost, this is where the Razer Core V2 comes into play. Now, this is an external graphics solution that you plug into the laptop and it'll provide a desktop class gaming experience. It's super simple, it's just plug and play. There's no need to reboot the laptop or anything, just plug it in and you're good to go. Quickly touching on the battery life, performance in this category was pretty solid. I was able to get about eight hours of general use, things like web browsing, listening to music on Spotify, watching YouTube videos, maybe some Netflix here and there, things like that. I was able to get through about seven to eight hours, uh, pushing nine, sometimes if I had the brightness down. And in terms of gaming time, I was getting anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours in that category. So, if you're looking for an extremely well-built, light, portable, super attractive beast of an ultrabook that you can take with you to get your stuff done, whether it's college student use, like taking notes and then gaming back at the dorm, business use or casual use, 
Again, video production, music production, photo editing, graphic design, movie watching, music listening, and even some light gaming all on a gorgeous display accompanied by a bright and colorful keyboard, the Razer Blade Stealth is a great way to go. Now it starts around $1400, so it definitely isn't on the cheap side of things, but again, what you're getting is a very very good all around on the go device. So what do you guys think of the Razer Blade Stealth? Let me know by dropping your comments down below. As always, I love to hear your feedback. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will talk to you guys in the very next video and thank you all very much for watching.